What's crack a lacking YouTube? Welcome back. Today I am going to do a run through of all of my personal vintage t-shirts and the collection that I have of vintage. Now, I've seen a couple of people do this on YouTube and on Instagram as well and honestly I love watching stuff like that. I just love vintage t-shirts for what they are. I could watch videos like that all day long so I figured why not um, make one myself. If you are like me then you would like to see a video like this. I just used the word like a lot in that sentence. A couple channel updates. So first, uh, reseller game, the champ game. Out of all six of the reseller games that I did, three of those champions said they wanted to compete for a higher um, game. So that championship game is going to be coming up. And then another big mystery box is on its way. Hopefully I will have that by Monday. Alright, these are all of my cherished vintage t-shirts. I don't have that many. Honestly, I just have this top rack of vintage and then a small little pile right here in front of me that's not on hangers. And I'll go through these ones down here first. But before I get into it, something about me. For one, my collection isn't that big. It's honestly just this one little rack right here and then a couple stragglers down here. Because I have a problem with having money just sit around. I like to just keep what I wear. So if I don't wear a piece, then usually I try to sell it off. And then on top of that, I do like to cycle through my own collection. So like if I wear a piece like four or five, six times and I think I'm done with it, then I will sell it off as well. And then on top of that, there are a couple pieces that I have that will never be for sale. Probably never. Never say never, so probably will never be for sale. So what you're about to see here, I like things to be simple and essential or big and bold graphics all over prints, bright colors like the one I'm currently wearing. This one is Atlanta USA 96, the Olympic stuff, I do collect it. I just have a couple of the t-shirts, but a lot of the hats. As I go through all this stuff, I will also tell you guys like why I have it or what it means to me because I do not have any of like the hyped up pieces. I really live by the motto of wear what you like, not what's hype, or collect what you like, not what's hype. So I don't have any rap tees. I don't have any like old super cool band like Metallica tees or anything like that. Uh, I'm just not into Metallica. Wasn't into like the, the Biggie or the Tupac rapping stuff. So those shirts are, are super cool. The graphics on them are awesome. The fact that they're like vintage and represent an era is really cool. I like them for that reason, but I don't necessarily like them for what they actually are, a Tupac tee or whatever. So maybe you might not think that this is the best collection, but to me, this has got to be like the best hand-picked collection for someone like me or for me personally, this is it. This is exactly what I like. So enough rambling on, let's just get into it. The top four here that I'm going to show you are the newest four to my personal collection. Here's a Nike bootleg. I don't have very many Nike items in my own personal, but the fact that this is bootleg and it's a big, bold graphic, uh, I liked it and I had to pick it up. And that little back hit right on the neck, really does it justice. This is a really cool all over print t-shirt. Uh, it's sponsored by Bud Light and I just couldn't pass this t-shirt up because of that print. And then on the back it is like the ultimate sponsorship t-shirt and I love the colors. You got Coke on the top, Bud Light in the middle, and then a couple minor ones around it. But uh, Bud Light, man, you say the word Bud Light, I instantly think back to my college days and all the fun that I had in college. I have another really cool Bud Light t-shirt back here that I'll show you. Uh, this one I bought because I liked the stripes and it also has little like flowers in it when you get closer. This summer is the summer of stripes so I'm going to try to get on that bandwagon. <laughs> and uh, this one was just too cheap not to, not to jump on. Next one, same thing. I've been looking for a yellow striped shirt for like a solid year now, one that fits me well. And I'm hoping this is finally the one. All right, this one is in the personal collection because it's a cool piece of Tommy Hilfiger history and Tommy Hilfiger is my favorite like name brand. Hope is more powerful than a hurricane. And then on the back, you had Tommy Hilfiger in the spell out with American Red Cross um, for help. This is something that Tommy Hilfiger did for a hurricane relief fundraiser type of thing. Um, really cool piece of history. It does not fit me though, so this one will be actually up for sale. This is just super cool. Someone wanted 10 bucks on an Instagram story sale. I got this probably like six to eight months ago. This is the back. There's nothing really on the front. There are two sleeve hits though. Snickers on there and Snickers on there. But for 10 bucks, I was like, geez, I like Snickers. I'll grab that one. Uh, this one I just got out of a mystery box. This is the Michelangelo thing. So this one kind of hits some really strong memories for me as well. I went to Italy for three months when I was in college. And when I was there, I saw two pieces by Michelangelo. And this t-shirt, like, first off, this t-shirt is just super cool. It's an all over print with all of his little artworks on it and his sculptures. 
like this, the statue of David and all these crazy things. And it has a Michelangelo spell out on it. But anyway, when I was actually in Italy, I saw two of the things and it was just super cool to see that kind of history with your own eyes. So uh, I guess I have to keep this t-shirt for myself. You're gonna notice a couple of these actually have to do with just like history subject matter. I'm a history teacher, I think history is awesome. It's actually the reason why I like vintage t-shirts. There's a long backstory to it that I've talked about before on my YouTube. I'm not gonna do that now, but yeah, just old stuff. History is just really cool to, and appealing to me. So this is just a simple essential, as I mentioned before. This is another one that I decided to keep. I did have this up on my Instagram story sale, but it did not sell. So I think I might just hold on to this for a while, maybe wear it a couple times this summer. I also lived for three months in Hawaii, or I worked in Hawaii for three months at Pearl Harbor, the Navy base there. and. Uh, this is from Oahu, Hawaii, this t-shirt. It's vintage and a couple of these things, actually this whole little border right here on the side. I've actually been to all those little things that this t-shirt is talking about and I really liked the colors. So that one is staying with me. This one I got in one of my first ever YouTube videos. I got this right as last summer was approaching and again with the history subject matter, um, sea power, you got the Soviet hammer up against USA baby. Okay and I'm glad we breezed through those ones. Uh, those were the ones without hangers. Now we're gonna go straight into the ones on hangers, try to make this as easy as possible. Here's just another long sleeve stripe. You couldn't pass this up. Uh, this has a little request, request embroidery on it. I don't know what that is. This is authentic request knitted wear, but I love the colors. It's a long sleeve stripe shirt and it fits me perfectly. So I had to keep it. Uh, this one is in the personal collection, but it is up for sale. It's guest t-shirt. Uh, if you like vintage, you gotta like guess. And I really actually do like the brand guess, or at least the older stuff they did, just cause I kind of like the stripage that they got going on. But yeah, this one's up for sale. It's not the true vintage one. So it goes to show how much thought was put into that purchase. Moving on, we have the Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Man, I was obsessed with these guys when I was in high school. Saw this t-shirt, had to buy it. Never seen another one. Frankie Valley, the Four Seasons, got beautiful color on it a tan t-shirt with just all of those highlighter colors uh, if you don't know who Frankie Valley is it's just like an old boy band like one of the first ever boy bands uh, just really cool man yeah I don't know why I was obsessed with them I saw the movie the four seasons and then it was just off from there that one is not for sale it's one that will probably never be for sale it just means too much to me this is a grailer all over print energizer bunny soccer world cup t-shirt i do coach soccer i've been playing soccer my whole life soccer was my favorite sport to ever play and this vintage t-shirt is just crazy you have to have it for the personal this is another one that I will probably never be selling. Another bootleg, so I am a fan of bootlegs. I just kind of like the aesthetic of the bootleg. So yeah, this is just like a big box logo of Tommy Hilfiger from some active tea company, some odd company. I actually got this at my first ever and only ever pop-up that I've been to off a guy named Just Simple Pieces. This one I got at a flea market last summer. Um, one of the biggest vintage t-shirts hauls I've ever had. Some guy had died and his friend was selling off his whole closet basically. And he only wore like graphic t-shirts from the 90s or he was old so he only had t-shirts from the 90s. Anyway, I uh, had to keep this one from the live just cause the back, the front is just says wide open but the back is, is just too cool. You gotta do it in the dirt on the side and then a Sir Isaac Newton quote there. Sir Isaac Newton, um, if you don't know, educate yourself please and thank you. These two are the only two shirts that I have double downed on because I had found one and it just didn't fit me right so then I had to buy one that does fit me. I am a teacher, if you didn't know, full-time history teacher. Um, again, I like history stuff so I doubled down on that t-shirt. Bon Jovi long sleeve, I got this from Four Bears Goods in his box. This one is up for sale, but until it does sell, it's in my own personal collection. I like Bon Jovi, this actually fits me pretty well for a long sleeve. Yeah, I don't know, Bon Jovi is I guess one band that I do have some memories with because my mom used to blare over our like loudspeakers in the house when she was cleaning when I was younger. So Bon Jovi just has a little bit of childhood memories associated with it. I think this is the only NASCAR t-shirt I have in my collection and it is only in my collection because it's the craziest NASCAR t-shirt I've ever seen with my own two eyes. So had to hold on to it just for the all over print uh, aesthetic here. This one is also up for sale. Here's a pretty basic Umbro t-shirt. I think Umbro is like a low-key brand that's kind of slept on, but this is all over print soccer, soccer balls. I'm, I'm a soccer coach again with the soccer stuff. 
This one I recently got off Instagram. It's just really cool. I like the like all over fade to it. That's basically why I bought it. And then the whole cracking of the Indian and the, the clouds and stuff. Pretty cool piece of artwork here. So I had to grab that. Vintage Iowa State. Iowa State is where I went to college and made all those fun memories. It's on one of my favorite tags there just to spell out. Nothing too crazy. Next up is a Tommy Hilfiger box logo. It's the only big box logo t-shirt that I've ever had in my collection. However, this one is up for sale because it doesn't fit me right. Okay, again, I am a teacher, so dare teachers care. Like, come on, for the vintage dare t-shirts, this is the perfect one for me. If you're into vintage, you have to have at least like one dare t-shirt. There's so many different dare t-shirts to choose from, and this has obviously got, yeah, the one for me, man. Don't do drugs, kids. Um, champion, this is a made in USA, just a Heather Gray with the Champion USA spell out there. Nothing too crazy, a simple essential piece, you know, that I have. Another vintage Iowa State t-shirt. Iowa State has some pretty cool old, like, graphic t-shirts. And yeah, this one is just too cool to pass up. I'd rather be an underrated Cyclone than an overrated Hawkeye, that is so true. Um, Hawkeye suck. This one, okay, Woodstock. So again, I'm a fan of the historical context of Woodstock and what Woodstock was. Woodstock is actually a huge part of history and it should be talked about more for what it did for like the social culture of America. Um, and I got this t-shirt because, you know, three days of peace and music. I like music, I like peace. I had to get the t-shirt. Here is the Grayler Budweiser t-shirt. This one uh, is up for sale, but it's at a very marked up price because I would hate to get rid of this. And I do want this one to stay in the collection. Uh, but yeah, i never seen another one of this Budweiser t-shirt. Okay, this one is the Legend of Sturgis t-shirt. This is pretty cool graphic. It's like the only biker tee that I have. I found this in an indoor flea market with my whole family was with me when I found this. So I kind of hold on to it for that reason and just the reason that it's an amazing graphic, front and back. I really like that one. Uh, this one is up for sale too. I got this as a last summer, summer t-shirt and it doesn't fit me properly, but I do love the colors. Champion is also one of my favorite brands and I'm glad to see that they had such a good year last year. So if you are interested in this one, DM me at Bob Dabber. That's my Instagram. That's where I hook everybody up with the steals and deals. You know, honestly, everything is for sale at the right price. Okay, here's a John Lennon t-shirt. I just got this one recently, I think in a box. And this t-shirt is only in my collection right now because it's serving as a placeholder. This is up for sale. I do like, like the Americana of this shirt, the red, white, and blue all over the place. But I'm looking for that green Elton John t-shirt, the one that was designed by Gianni Versace. I want that one in my collection. I just think the graphic on that thing is super cool. So yeah, this one reminds me that I still need the other Elton John uh, t-shirt. I think I said John Lennon when I pulled that shirt out. I meant Elton John. Very simple essential here. Just a Nike simple embroidered check mark right there. Coming into some of my favorite t-shirts that I have are the Star Wars. Star Wars t-shirts. Uh, this one I got from the iconic Rally Roots and I love it. The colors on this thing pop and I actually wore this one just the other day and I figured out it glows in the dark. I did not know that. So yeah, this is this is one of my favorite t-shirts um, right now. And then just to back that up, a very similar print. This is another one of my, of my favorite t-shirts. This one I've had for almost like Oh my gosh, I think I've had this for almost three years now. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just epic. And this is probably the best fitting t-shirt that I own. It fits me perfectly. Okay, moving on to a World Cup t-shirt. I think I have this one up for sale too. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm looking for one that fits me a little bit better. So this is again, just kind of like a placeholder to remind me, hey, I need a better fitting World Cup t-shirt. But of course, you know, the soccer, the World Cup, the whole coaching aspect of my life, I have to have that one in there. This one's pretty cool. I bought this off my cousin who had this when he was in high school. So this one is staying in the family. This is another one of my favorite t-shirts just cause it's that Tommy Hilfiger small script box logo. Gotta love it. Okay, Tommy Hilfiger is my favorite brand. So you have to have some simple essentials as well. There's a little spell out right on the chest for you. Another Umbro soccer t-shirts. Again, I think Umbro is kind of slept on. Like how do you get a big spell out like that and nobody appreciates it. Also, if you look closely on this one, there are soccer balls in the backgrounds of the letters. And obviously, you know, soccer on the back there. So yeah, I like this one a lot as well. Again, Champion is one of my other favorite brands. Simple, essential, got the little spell out there. You gotta have at least one. 
Um, this is one of the only Nike t-shirts that I have. Honestly, besides shoes, I am not a big fan of Nike. Like Nike t-shirts, Nike sweatshirts, none of that stuff really does it for me. This one is up for sale, but it's a Nike check in my collection, I guess. Okay, this is a bootleg guess. Again, I told you guys I like bootlegs. I told you guys I like the old guess stuff. However, this one is up for sale because I don't know, I don't actually really like the color combo on here. I just never wear this t-shirt, so, so it, it's up for sale. But yeah, guess. This one is one that will never be up for sale probably because I found this in a thrift store in the city here in Iowa. It's an all over print. If you look carefully, it does have like this really faded all over print and then just vibrant, big graphics right on the front. I love it so much. Found this in a thrift store for four bucks. So this is one that like I, I actually found and love it and it's staying. Staying with me. And like I said, I also, I collect the Atlantic stuff, kind of. I guess it just kind of falls into my hands sometimes. Another Star Wars t-shirt. This is one that I actually thrifted as well. This is not up for sale. I guess it's, I suppose it could be because it's not that cool of a graphic, but I like having a couple Star Wars t-shirts. I think Star Wars is cool. Okay, sue me if you're not a little nerd like me. An Adidas tank top. Got this for a crazy steal of a deal on Instagram as well. I think this was like 10 bucks. The texture of the graphic is not so pleasant when it touches your belly side, like through the t-shirt. It's just very thick and like padded. But yeah, a tank top nonetheless. I used to rock tank tops a lot. Maybe bring them back this summer. Okay, when I was talking about that flea market guy who had died and his friend was selling all of his t-shirts, this was another one from that haul. And this one is just too cool. Maybe one of the coolest looking shirts that I honestly have in my collection. Uh, I wear this one a lot, not for sale. Probably will never be for sale. This one will never be for sale either. I got this at the beginning of last summer in one of those first ever YouTube videos I did. Tommy Hilfiger, crazy stripes on the front and then it's a beach print on the back. You have beach, palm trees, you have uh, oranges, coconuts, waves, fishes, surfboards. If you look closely, it's all here on the back of this shirt, and it's just the craziest colorway that you've ever seen. Uh, if you ever come across a shirt like this from Tommy Hilfiger, please DM me. I am willing to buy. I've never seen another t-shirt like this from Tommy Hilfiger. Actually, I take that back. Someone sent me a picture of the purple one, so it was green and purple stripes. And they sent me a picture on Instagram said, my friend has this shirt. And then I was like, let me buy it. And they never responded to me. So, so sad, but yes, one of my favorite t-shirts. I don't wear that often, but I love looking at it. And then we're gonna end it off with another Iowa State t-shirt. So yeah, this is a really cool one. As you notice, it's the only red t-shirt in my collection. And that's because I actually don't like the way I look in red. I feel like I look too pale or something. Um, and my eyes are blue, so I like wearing like the blue tones more. I don't know, but obviously you gotta have this nice, a beautiful graphic from Iowa State in the collection. So there you go, guys, that is my collection. I just like vintage t-shirts, like certain t-shirts for certain reasons, and I think that is the real reason why you should collect the vintage stuff. Um, some people are just in it for the hype, I've noticed, especially recently. Some people think like as they get into reselling vintage that they are only going to make it if they have the coolest and baddest rap t-shirts or like Metallica t-shirts or all of the old guest t-shirts or, or the all over print t-shirts. Whatever it is, no, you man, you just need to collect what you like and you can make a whole page out of it like I have on the Instagram. You can have a lot of fun reselling vintage clothing if you're in it for the right reasons. And that's all I got for you guys today. The weather's getting nicer, quarantine's getting us all crazy. Pick a cool t-shirt and go outside today. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.